Hi, I'm Robo Brian. And I'm Robo Rachel. And we're two of the applications engineers here at National Instruments that will be supporting you during the build season this year. I would like to introduce to you the new first robotics platform, the Robo Rio. Whether you've used the C Rio in the past or you're completely new to first, this is the video for you. You may first realize how light and small the Robo Rio is compared to its C Rio predecessor. There is no digital sidecar necessary, nor are there any other additional modules that you need to run the Robo Rio. It is based off of the same architecture as the C Rio, however, it is faster and it features a dual core processor. Additionally, the internal board of the Robo Rio has a conformal coating to prevent the possibility of shorts everywhere except the pins, which are very easy to clean. Cool, let's turn it on. These wires coming from the battery travel over to the circuit breaker, which connects to the power distribution panel, which in turn provides power to the Robo Rio. There are two ways we can connect the Robo Rio to our computer. The first is via the Ethernet port, just like with the C Rio from previous years. However, new to the Robo Rio is the USB B port, which allows us to network to our PC host over USB. As soon as we plug in the Robo Rio, it shows up in the imaging tool. This allows us to load the FRC software image onto the Robo Rio and change the associated team number. Now that we've connected to our Robo Rio and pushed software to it, let's look at the different hardware inputs and outputs we have available to us. Here you can see the ports for four different communication protocols, SPI, RS-232, I2C, and CAN. Let's take a closer look at one of the CAN examples that ships with LabVIEW for FRC. Here we have the CAN port on a Robo Rio hooked up to two Jaguar motor controllers, which are then connected to two motors. This CAN Motor VI example demonstrates how to program for your motors in LabVIEW. If we hit the Run button, LabVIEW will deploy our code to the Robo Rio. We can then hit Enable on the driver's station, and we have motor control! CAN is not the only way we can control our motors. Another common way is through the use of pulse width modulation, also known as PWM. The analog inputs are used for analog sensor data acquisition, while the DIO is used to communicate with our digital peripherals, such as limit switches or solenoid valves. The relay connectors can be used to drive external relays or switches. The RSL, or robot signal light, connects to the robot signal light, which outputs visual status messages. Finally, the MXP port provides you with the ability to create your own custom inputs and outputs. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to the Robo Rio. Now, what will you create?